Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Everything is Fine, episode 70 to 71. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright. I admire that. I wish I still had that fire. Well, you could help us. I told you, I can't mess with the boat or all that I've worked for. I didn't mean that. There's, there's actually something you could really help us out with. Oh God, go on. Well, Laura, actually, I was wondering, can I borrow your phone? Oh, midnight on New Year's? That's so sweet. Huh, I guess. And, did, and she did open the restaurant? Yep, I mean, it took way longer than she thought and having Sarah didn't make things any easier. But she went and did it. It was a good at restaurant too. People said she was on track to get a star before all this happened. Wow, hell, hell of a lady you've got there, Sam. <clears throat> so, uh, it didn't take up much, it didn't take up too much of her time. Hmm? Oh, uh, well, to be honest, it was roughest for a few years. Lots of nights with just me and Sarah, but we were getting through it. Yeah, uh, so... You think she has your your and your daughter's best interests at heart? Okay, what is this? Is this why you two invited me out here? Oh, well, well done, did you? You're about as subtle as a brick. Me? At least I was saying something. Help me out here. <sighs> okay, Sam, yeah. We do want to talk about you, talk to you about something. We're sorry. We weren't more upfront, but this is tricky to ask. See, uh, Julian? No way, mister. Your turn. Uh, okay, um, uh, I just come right out and say it then. Sam, how do you feel about betraying your wife? That sounds a little out there. I know, I know, but if there's any chance that this could work... Okay, so let me get this straight. You borrow my phone and read someone. Then this Horus guy traces the signal. So you find where the signal is coming from, which might be the base of whoever did this. Right. Okay, and then what? Surely this group, this new government, has thousands of members, maybe millions. And you said there's only seven rebels, right? Once you find them, then what? Ask them politely to, to, to stop? Well, that's where the plan gets a little fuzzy, yeah, but that's where the small numbers will help. We're lightweight. We can, like, sneak in. Use guerrilla tactics, set off bombs. Maggie, you're a chef. Not a chef, freaking Guevara. Guevara? I'll do respect, but do you really know what you're talking about? Okay, no, honestly, I don't think any of us do. But maybe there are others out there. Maybe this could be part of something bigger. I don't know. I, I don't know. Honestly, I just, I'm dying either way. We are all, we all are. I just want to say I tried. And who are you going to read then? If I do give you my phone, I, uh, I haven't decided to, be honest. If I ask if you can think of anyone who deserves it, but... Oh, my mouth died. Hold on, guys. No wonder it's been acting kind of funny. It's low on battery. All right. Their kids will die. No one, no parents deserves that. But it could help other people. Maybe a lot of, a lot of people. You of all people should understand, right? I can't deny that. Okay, I'm gonna pray on it, Maggie. I'll call you when I have an answer. Okay, thank you for even considering it, Laura. I know it puts you at risk. I don't care about me, Maggie. I'm stuck here no matter what. But if I give you my phone and you do this, there's no coming back for you. And I'm not sure if I can do that to a friend. Betraying Maggie. <laughs> I 
Is that really why you invited me down here? Come on, guys. I've seen some wild plays, but this... Actually, we don't think it's that wild. We think it's the smartest move you can make right now. Thing is, Sam, I'm still mighty sore about, you know, how you and your wife beat my best friend to death with a hammer. Greg, I don't know what you're saying. It was Linda. Save it. We both found both of your fingerprints on that hammer. Plus, we know about you meeting with the rebels. But Sam, I think you're a good guy. And I think Maggie is a bad guy. I think she twists you up, manipulates you into doing things that what you don't want to do. I think she killed Tom alone. And I think that she's working with the rebels. Now Julian and I can put in a good word for you with the rest, get you voted up. But that won't matter if she gets you redded first or killed. There's no way I can reach red just her, Sam. You and Sarah walk away. So why not just let her go? She did it alone. She threatened to kill me. It's that easy. Just say those words and all your problems are solved. <laughs> Sorry, Greg. My answer's still the same. She's my wife. But more than that, she's my Maggie man. That's like asking peanut butter to betray jelly. Sure, we're going through some stuff. Maybe our whole marriage will go down in flames. Heck, maybe she'll go, she'll get me killed. I know that, but that's love. And what if she gets Sarah killed? The way she's acting, does she even care? Of course she cares. And yeah, I worry about it. There's been a bunch of times we've come close to that. But every time she asks me to trust her, I do. And look, you're still here. So I owe it to the woman I'm married to, to keep trying. Maybe one day I'll find her again. <sighs> okay, Sam, I understand it. I'm sorry for this. Juju, sorry, Sam. Well, what are you doing? Don't make this harder than it has to be. Hey, get off of me, I'm gonna, no. Hey, you mother, no. Guys, listen to me. Think about what you're doing. You know you can't kill me if I'm not redded. <laughs> well, actually, that's the thing, Sam. We won't be killing you. See, when we're just so touched by your loyalty to your wife, your daughter, and it got us wondering about your other family member. So let me ask you, just how loyal do you think Winston is? Uh... Mm -hmm. So, let me ask you. Just how loyal do you think Winston is? Why don't we find out, eh? Winston! Where are you, boy? Dinner's here. Jesus Christ, come on, Greg. We can talk about this. There's no need to kill me. Oh, did you talk to Tom first? Before you split his head open? Greg, I swear, I swear on my daughter's life, me and Maggie had nothing to do with it. It was Bob and Linda. Our prince was on the hammer because it was our hammer. We lent it to them. Okay, save it. Don't insult my intelligence. And you don't have to perform for the microphones. Nobody higher up than me bothers listening to anyone in Lakeview anyways. They trust me to use my discretion. And my discretion says this seems pretty fair. So, given all that, and the fact that you're going to die either way, why not just admit it? Stop pretending and just admit that you killed Tom. Set your conscience free. Julian, please, this is thick. I know you don't agree with this. Actually, Sam, this setup was my idea. I didn't know Tom all that well, but you mess with my man and you mess with me. And after we're done here, we're going to go get Maggie. Don't touch her. To be honest, we're always going to kill you both. Just FYI. We're just hoping to get a confession out of you for deniability for anyone asked. But hey, we can't all just, we can't all be perfect. Get said, 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 I don't know what that word, I can't say that word. Sam? Are you home? 
Huh, weird. Guess I'll feed Winston. Winston! Got some juicy, uh, steak for ya. Hmm. Nothing. Even weirder. Huh? Is that? <gasps> no point in struggling, Sam. Those are sailors, not. <laughs> no, wait. Keep struggling. It'll be more fun for Winston. Hmm. Listen, guys. Please. Let's talk. Sure. Keep talking, too. Keep on ringing the d dinner bell. Oh, Greg, we couldn't have killed Tom if we wanted to. What about the GPS records? You found Tom's body in Bob and Linda's basement after he left our house. What did the GPS have shown if we went over there? And what about the cameras? Wouldn't they have seen us go over? So how could we have done it if we were in our house the whole time? And how would we have planned any of it? Pete... Pete checked out our house. Did he find anywhere we were blocking the signal? No. <sighs> okay, How's about, how about this? Tom found your fold room. Either you or Maggie bash his head in. Probably Maggie. Crap. Then you took his phone and the GPS from his head. He got into his phone, which is just ill. And now this is the part I oh, I would know because I know Tom kept those recordings. We weren't supposed to, of course, but it's none of the perks of the uniform. So we, you took those recordings and clipped them up. And you, Sam, disguised yourself as him. Your head are as cl close enough color that the cameras didn't notice. You played the clip to fool the microphones, got to their basement where you planted the GPS from his head and his phone and probably the hammer. Then you went around to the back to get home, avoiding the cameras and making it look like Tom never left. You did all that in between the 10 minutes GPS pings, of course. Same as when you took his body over later that night, again, via the back. How's that? Am I warm? Honestly, Greg, that makes no sense at all. Sure, well, in any case, it doesn't matter now. It looks like our friend has arrived. Greg, please, this is psychopathic. What are you, a supervillain? Are you seriously gonna feed me to a crocodile? A crocodile? Oh, Sam, you never saw Winston in all this time. Maggie didn't tell you? Well, I guess maybe she didn't see either. He likes to stay underwater while he feeds. But every once in a while, he does like to come up. Oh my God. For the catch of the day. What on earth is that? A zombie? Why does it look like that? Why is it nude? Okay. Okay, well. <laughs> All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!